Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News, I'm your host Chris Tysis, and we're here to talk about Nintendo Switch sales and what Nintendo is planning to do with it this year. So this is an interesting report by um, a couple of folks here that one of them I know, this guy who's on, on, on Twitter. And it says the following, Nintendo Co. plans to increase production of its six-year-old Switch console in the coming physical year after shipping roughly 21 million Switch consoles in the year ending March. According to people familiar with the matter, they did lower their forecasts to 19 million because of component shortages, but is now convinced it can make more and demand remain strong, said the people asking not to be named because the discussions are not public. The move to increase output is an expected, unexpected measure um, at the late stage in the console's um, life cycle. So they haven't set a particular um, expectation or um, you know how many they plan to sell. Um, it's the price starts at two hundred dollars in the U.S has been hampered by supply issues more than any demand. That's what the executives say. So I'm thinking um, there's a few reasons why. Number one is The Legend of Zelda. There are other people say there are other games like Metroid Prime 4 that could help the sales. But I also think that other things that will help um, will be continued sales of Mario Kart, the download content, more it's an evergreen title that always sells. But also, too, the opening of theme parks such as Super Nintendo World is a big thing that people uh, don't remember or don't really think about. That appeals to, uh, you know, families and people who are on the fence about getting a Switch or they might get a second Switch for the kids. And the other one <clears throat> would be um, the Super... Mario Brothers movie that is going to be a big moment for Nintendo they've been working on this for years and years this uh, Mario Brothers movie they've been hearing about for a long time and now it's finally coming um, out in the next few months so I think that is what's going to be generating those sales and that movie is coming out just after the physical year at the end of March so the beginning of April so that's going to be a big boost to Nintendo so I, I could see them selling 20 million there'll also be i think special editions i think there has to be a legend of zelda special edition oled model which makes um complete sense which is pretty good and there may be other special editions this year i don't know could be a pokemon one or something like that but um if they do keep selling um these sort of models and, and console sales, it could reach the 150 million mark, which is where the Nintendo DS and the Sony PlayStation 2 is sitting. And if you're sitting on 120 million and you're not going to release another console until next year or the year after, and you've got 30 million to go, well, then you probably would go for that record. Um, and you'll be able to say, we've got the, the, the greatest or the highest selling console in history that's a nice thing to say and to sort of wrestle back that title that i think the nintendo we used to have uh, many years ago actually not the Wii, wouldn't have been yeah um since you know probably the nest or something like that long long time ago since nintendo had a, a high selling um, console but i think those are the things to watch out about it's not just that the Legend of Zelda will boost the sales. It's going to be the movies. It's going to be the theme parks. It's going to be expanding beyond video games. And I think that's going to be something that um, Nintendo will be working very hard on. It's just expanding the business beyond um, just video games. And I think that's going to be helping out the Nintendo Switch um, in the future. And Legend of Zelda will sell a bajillion because there's going to be 120, 130 million... Um, units in the wild and existing switch owners will definitely get pick up a second or a third switch if there's like a special model of that um, you know released as well so it's going to be very interesting um, let me know in the comments what you think but um, I think um, Nintendo will have a very good year not just in video games but in other markets as you know movie making and theme parks and things like that it's going to be really interesting to see um, what will happen so that is it for me. 
Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you next time.